Yeah, this is my theory. I'm starting from theory. I'm going to specific. That's why it's deductive. I'm starting from uh, the fact that is I'm, what I'm looking at, and then going making my theory that is inductive. And what is the object? Fact and observation. Fact and observation. Yeah, all three are there in both cases. See, this is theory. This is observation. So then I'm making. This is the fact. This is the objective. See, I said objective reasoning is causal research. Right? So, how is this different from both of this? It's not going from general to specific or specific to general. It will be going from specific to specific only or general to general. Good guess. I appreciate you for that. But that's not correct. <laughs> Again, good guess. <laughs> it uses both inductive and deduct induction and uh, deduction. This is what we use in our everyday lives without actually knowing it. When a doctor makes a diagnosis, he is using both induction and deduction, right? Yes. Blood, test. blood test. Blood test. When a police person is trying to solve a case, is is using both, right? Specific to general and general to specific, and then trying to solve the case. Same thing in diagnostics. You already have some theory. You are showing some symptoms, right? You are trying to make a causation between both of that, but also opening the window to say that okay, fine, there might be some other causes also, right? Can I have an example of that? Uh, Let me tell you one thing before actually going into other topics, especially in statistics. In statistics, the most important thing is for you to understand your basic theory. All right? It's not important for you to know great softwares, okay, high-sounding concepts. Not at all required. If you get your basics right, you can deduce the meaning of those concepts. So when I say structural equation modeling, it sounds high fi right? But it is nothing but only multiple regression. That's all it is. Okay, so if we understand if we understand regression, if we understand linear regression, we can understand structural equation modeling. Alright? I think not just statistics, I think in most disciplines, if you get your basics right, that's all is required for you to understand any concept in the discipline. Clear? So let's concentrate on, on getting our basics really strong. And this is like absolute basics. First page of any research book will be that. 
It's another thing that most of those publications are wrong also. That's another thing, but... Based on the nature of research, applied research, but based on the nature of research, 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 based on the nature of Nothing is discipline specific. There is, I think I was having this discussion with somebody in the last class that there is only one body of knowledge, right? And there is no subcategories. It is one thing that is applied to everything. <coughs> somebody from psychology? Psychology? Sir, in, you also have research methodology. It's the same thing. Biotechnology? Same thing. Public art will have the same thing. Business will have the same thing. Even literature also will have the same thing. In literature, the kind of research you do is historical. Same thing, same historical research you do even in archaeology, which is almost called a science. This is a humanity. Right? Both are same. Okay? Moving forward, types of research, simple linear regression. Yeah, this is for people who are looking at regression for the first time. Yeah. So here, this is called bivariate because there are only two variables. Bi meaning two, variate variables. One is dependent variable, the other is independent. Here I am trying to find out uh, my, my salary based on my educational college. Right. So if I am finding out only these two variables, then it is called a simple linear regression. Right. Same thing if I have two or more independent variables, multiple regression. What you need to understand here is that in both cases, in fact, in all three cases, you have only one dependent variable. Right? So here I am using educational degree, time that I spend at work, and my age. All three factors to determine how much my salary will be. Right? So this is multiple regression. Okay? Logistic regression, anybody has heard about this? Yeah, what is it? Okay, sorry, my question was wrong. That is what it is. Okay. It can be either bivariate or multivariate where the dependent variable is categorical or dichotomous that is yes or no if you see here if the dependent variable here is metric right but when the dependent variable is not metric then you have to do logistic regression then all the all that we are going to study today will be of no use for logistic regression because that is based on logistical functions 1 by 1 minus e to the power of r. It, it's a log function, okay, which we'll be not talking about in, in this session. But for you to just understand, all the assumptions that we make about simple linear regression and multiple re, uh, linear regression do not apply to logistic regression because my dependent variable is not metric, it is calculated. What about my uh, uh, independent variable? What about the scale of independent variable? Should it be metric? Or can it be ordinal? Or only ordinal? It can be anything. It can be anything. But for logistic regression, must be apply log to those numbers and convert it into something like metric. No, no, you don't have to apply log to the observations. The formula that you use to calculate your beta coefficients, that is different. Only that, that is different and rest everything is... Rest everything is... Same like this. Is similar. Is similar. You also have to use standardized beta coefficients, not unstandardized beta coefficients. Okay, fine. If you take me there, then everybody will, you know, zone out. Okay? 
So here if you see the example of logistic regression, here I have taken again educational degree type of work and age, but not indicative of salary, but indicative of something categorical, that is whether that person experiences burnout at work or not. Yes or no? Categorical. Right? So here, like I said, my independent variables can be metric or categorical. Yeah. Whereas in linear regression, you have dependent variables as metric, and here you have categorical for logistic. With me so far? Yes. Yeah? Anybody didn't understand something? Am I going too fast? Anything like that? Yeah? Can I move forward? So what I was saying, uh, your part, this will not be the formula for logic. Okay. So this is my basic formula for I have taken just only simple linear regression. Okay. Multiple linear regression will not be going too deep in this session because like